a greedy, rapacious elite who always try and divide to rule. And that's why it's so important that there are so many movements and organisations behind this protest today working together with just two days notice to fill this square. So please give the organisers a massive round of applause. Friends, there is a sentence a phrase which echoes through the generations. And it was echoed by Frederick Douglass, a 19th century African-American statesman. And he said this, he said, power concedes nothing without a demand. It never did and it never will. And that sentence is as relevant now as it was in the 19th century because the only way we ever win change is not just by writing polite letters to MPs and politely asking the powerful wouldn't it be so nice and kind of you if you gave us this change but by fighting and struggling from below that is how women won their rights it's how workers won their rights it's how minorities won their rights it's how LGBTQ people won their rights and it's how we are going to save the planet that is how every generation has to relearn an essential truth that we win by protest and by civil disobedience. And that lesson has been so spectacularly taught to the entire world by the amazing fighters in this square who brought this city to a standstill. Give them Extinction Rebellion that round of applause because they show, they show people who mock and laugh and go, oh, have your little protest, have your little day out. They forced a national debate and conversation about climate change. And whatever the smears of broadcasters, not mentioning any names, Adam Bolton, whatever their smears, their smug smears, that conversation was forced on the agenda because people have the courage to stand up and to fight. And we know what we're up against. We know what will happen. We know that the sea will rise, that our cities will flood, that people will starve, that people will die in heat waves and extreme weather, and that millions already, but more, will be forced against their will from their homes. And history will judge what did we do. And I'll tell you this. They will judge harshly those who spent their column inches and TV broadcasts denouncing those who have the courage to stand up on the right side of history. And that's where we are. And friends, those who argue against radical action to save humanity and the planet often make it as though it will all be about sacrifice and pain, but it doesn't have to be that way. Yes, we will save the planet, and we will save the species who are endangered on this planet. But we will also have cleaner air to breathe. We will also have a better work-life balance. We will also create skilled, renewable jobs. We will also have homes which are well insulated, taking on fuel poverty and the climate crisis. We will build a just and equal and sustainable world. They are not in contradiction, they go hand in hand. But just to wrap up, just to wrap up. We should be clear, we should be clear about this, that we're not going to save the planet until we overthrow the system itself, a system which puts profit ahead of the needs of both humanity and the planet, and that system is called capitalism. We have to fight capitalism. Capitalism is at war with the planet. By putting profit ahead of need in the short term, ahead of the long term, by having growth, 
which has constantly accumulated and concentrated in the hands of a tiny elite, it imperils our future. So let's build a new system, a new social order that puts the needs of humanity and the planet ahead of profit, which means taking on capitalism as a system itself. And friends, to wrap up, to wrap up, I think they've heard us in there. I think they've heard us. But this is only the beginning, it's the start. We know that optimism and hope are contagious. That when people campaign and protest, they spark a light, a flame, which burns in the hearts of millions of people and it encourages them to do the same. So we say to the millions, they're not in this square, but they are with us. Join us. Let's fight. Let's campaign. Let's not resign ourselves to this future of devastation, but let's stand up. Let's take on our elites and let's build a new society with the same determination and resilience and courage and solidarity of all our ancestors who won our rights and freedoms. We will save the planet and we will build a new world that puts our needs and the needs of the planet first. So let's fight, let's march, let's expand our civil disobedience, let's unite across borders, let's build a global movement and let's build...